actually, while they were doing this, my teammate was doing the Explorer project. So they were doing the Native American project and the Explorer project at the same time because I took on the Native American part. So he moved on. So that's where our teaming comes in. Okay, so we call it the Explorer Trading Card Project. Um, so the idea is in fifth grade social studies, we cover the age of exploration. So students have to learn about um, the key players of that time um, and their major accomplishments. So in order to tackle that using project-based learning, um, we, we introduce the age of exploration and also um, a scenario. So students are told that they're now the product developers for a trading card company. First, begin by researching um, explorers during the age of exploration, and then they design and construct their own trading cards. Then they do a couple things with those. First, they, they plot the birth, death, and major accomplishment on a timeline. Um, and then they also have a ledger where they keep track of financial information. So just like when I was a kid, they have a price guide. So these cards are valuable. Um, and I publish a price guide, and they look up the value of each of their um, explorers, and they find the sum, the range, the mean, median, and mode for each explorer, you know, the, the pack that they've created. Um, so I think it's a good way to, to learn about, um, you know, a, a topic in social studies that's otherwise pretty unrelatable. cards. At a, we drew a picture of the explorer and then we wrote their name on the back when they were born and where they were born, where they died and when they died and um, their voyages and yeah and then so Mr. Tubach made a dollar chart so each person had a price and you'd add that up and then you'd get the sum and then you'd have to do the mean, which is the sum divided by how many cards you have, and then the median, which num which price is in the middle, and the mode, if there's two or three of w one price, uh, and the range, the lowest price and the highest price of your cards. Are you trading the card, too? What yeah. What's for? Uh, we have timelines, and then we traded cards, and then... The cards you got back you'd also put on your timeline, just not just the ones that you made yourself. Did you check that? Yes. Okay. Then the Yeah, I did it right. Your sum is eighteen point twenty four. Divided by four. Divided by four equals four point fifty six. Yeah, you got that right. Maybe you typed the number in wrong. The median, um, so that's, that's $3. The median is $3. The median? $2. No, yeah, it's $2. Okay. Yeah, you got that right. You don't need the calculator to check that. You only need the calculator to check those two. Can you tell me the prices? Nine hundred dollars four dollars seventy-five. Okay. Plus 30 cents, so point thirty. Three dollars, and then the nine eighty, uh, ninety eight dollars, ninety eight dollars and five cents. Divided by four. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Tubok, what's the median again? That's one that's in the middle. So if you have an odd number of cards and you have to rank them from the lowest value to the highest, okay. that's the one that's right. 81. He was 81 when he died. That's ancient back in the day. Yeah, it's pretty old. lived to like 50. That, that, was, that was actually pretty old. Yeah. 81 back then. It doesn't.
lot about like how their life was kind of like it was it wasn't like modern day it was just like they just wanted to either be like famous or wanted to get money it wasn't just like oh an explore the world it was more like i want money or i want to be famous You know, in the past, it's been, um, you know, we've asked students to, to memorize and regurgitate information to us and not apply it. And, and project-based learning, they're applying it. They're creating meaning for themselves. They're answering difficult questions, and they're, they're taking information and applying it to new situations. And all of those skills are necessary to, to succeed in, um, in the 21st century. So PBL is a way to do that. And so I feel that more people will, will adopt those ways. It is a complex and sophisticated um, process to design a good project that really takes off, that really excites our students. Um, I think the most uh, important one, the overarching one, if you will, is the need to create a shared understanding a shared understanding of the importance of this work. So related to that is that it needs the support of the leadership, of the principal, of other leaders in the school system. So if, if teachers are going to try this approach, then they need to, there needs to be a shared understanding that we're going to experiment, maybe if it's just a few teachers at first. Yeah.